taking a look inside my Google Docs account here uh, a very quick and easy way to get feedback from your teachers or from anybody is to use the form option inside of Google Docs um, very easy to use um, you build the form and Google Docs builds the spreadsheet automatically for you on the back end where all of the feedback or input from the form will reside uh, that you can there uh, go and check later so uh, very easy to do uh, just use the create button and go down to form and uh, you're gonna get this little form creation template uh, set up here so you want to give your form a title uh, title goes here if you want to put some instructions uh, underneath you, that's what you can use this box for Um, you can again put anything you'd like there as far as uh, information, directions, etc. Um, so at this point, uh, this is where you can go in and uh, start adding your questions uh, to the form. And there's a variety of different uh, things that you can use. You can use a text uh, form, which just gives a small uh, little answer box here. Um, you can use the paragraph, which I think uh, is most popular for long uh, feedback, depending on what your uh, types of questions you're asking. And then you can play around with the other options as well. There's a, a checkbox, uh, yes, no type of questions, a scale, uh, one to five, as well as a grid. So um, uh, several different options there. I suggest uh, that you play around with it. Um, but uh, again, you just title your first question. Uh, pretty simple here. Thank you for your response. And then you, again, help text. You can give uh, a little uh, directions or a reminder or whatever. And you can also make this uh, required if uh, uh, if you want to you want to make it so they um, can't submit the form back to you until this particular question is um, filled in so that's up to you. Uh, if you if you want to leave that unchecked just click done now you do have a sample question number two here if you only uh, if you, uh, you can go in and change that if you'd like by clicking on the pencil change that to whatever you'd like add your uh, question title etc or you can delete that out of there and just use uh, that particular uh, question or the first one that you set up. If you want to add additional items, you go up top, uh, just like we did here. You can do a section header, page break if you'd like. Um, but if I want to add it, if I want to add another question that's going to require a paragraph type of response, go in. Got the same information. Add a title. Make it uh, required if I want to, and click save, and that's it. All right. So you build your form. Um, you can real quick let me just show you if you want to make it fancy for your teachers um, or for your team you can uh, select various uh, themes here and we'll just use flowers let's say alright and you can see where your title will go see what it looks like love it click save actually it already is save I'm sorry click apply and that is it it's automatically saved so uh, you can view, you got your long link down here. Uh, if you click that link, it's going to open up in a new window, and there is your form that you can um, send out to your teachers. So you can copy and paste this long link into uh, your email, or you could also go to a website that I use often called Bitly, which is a URL shortener, and throw that long link into the uh, URL shortener in bit.ly and get a short link and then when you go to your email you have a nice uh, short uh, link to send out to your team as opposed to that big long ugly uh, uh, Google link so that is that let me go back to the page real quick now you're gonna get some folks that are gonna respond uh, to your questions answers go here uh, blah 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 and then they're gonna hit submit now here's the cool part uh, when you go back to your uh, your Google Drive account I guess it's called now Google Docs Google Drive 
um, you'll notice that you automatically have a spreadsheet that was created when you created your form and that is the back-end collection area for all of the information so as you noticed um, the timestamp answer goes here blah 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 thank you for your response that's the one question in that particular form from this screen I can see that uh, one person has responded to the form and I can also get to the form if you don't have the form open if it uh, if you're coming back later on and there's no windows open and what you want to know uh, where your form is maybe after you uh, sent your form out you decided you wanted to change and add uh, a, a place for them to put their first name and the last name for example uh, the link will never change uh, but you can always go back and edit the form after the fact so I can go to edit form I could go to the live form if I wanted to see it uh, in this case I want to edit it edit form let me make that bigger and I want to add two items I want to add first name and I want to add last name that way I can tell who is responding to my survey to my uh, inquiry questions feedback form whatever you want to call this so I'm gonna click Save and let's go out once again that that short um, link that I used in my email is still it's still live to the same form and now blah 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 and Kevin Adkison hit submit go back to my Google Drive account and you can see it's yellow here it was just modified and there is your second response great uh, tool uh, often um, underutilized or not utilized because folks don't know it's there uh, play around with it great great tool for surveying um, you can embed the um, you can embed the uh, form into a web page. Uh, your teachers might use this, for example, on their announcement pages if they want to get feedback from kids. You could put it on a blog, etc., etc. So if you have any questions, let me know.